From one of the most impacting families in state thoroughbred history, trainer Jim Penny is known for horsemanship, innovation, and ideas ahead of his time. He's a member of the inaugural class of the Washington Racing Hall of Fame and to top it all, won a record five Long Acres miles. His miles were won with mid-season purchases, sale horses, and homebreds. Jack Fabulich got fully involved in the family operation when marrying Penny's daughter, Jill. He quickly grew to appreciate Penny's complete knowledge of the thoroughbred and the sport. He is, uh, was an amazing trainer, amazing guy. Uh, he was always thinking ahead. He could, he could look at a horse and he, he would know right away what kind of horse he had. That keen eye led to the 1973 purchase of his first mile winner, Silver Mallet, for the Maurice and Richard Hitchcock families. Silver Mallet beat a former Penny trainee, Padaha Prince. Yearling Purchase Theologist was a four-year-old maiden in 1977 before winning four Long Acres stakes, including the mile, for the Penny family and co-owners Arden and Dave Archer. Riding Theologist was Penny's other son-in-law, Bryson Cooper. Theologist on the inside, Ben Adam and Auguste also on the move. Theologist, Ben Adam and Auguste. Theologist and Ben Adam, it's Theologist. All three of Penny's Emerald Downs mile champions were developed into route horses. Daughter Kay Cooper, who's run the barn day to day at Emerald Downs since the track's opening, emphasized that talent of her father. He really taught us how to stretch a horse out. I love taking a sprinter, developing into a route horse. There's always potential for that. Makes the owner have a better, more special horse in the end. Both homestretch farms Ed Nader and Bob and Bruce Sparling's Sabretooth hadn't won a route race or a stake prior to their mile victories. Ed Nader was 41 to 1 and Sabretooth 17 to 1. Penny believed, others didn't. We miss him obviously, he was always late, worth the wait as uh, his dry, or license tab said. But uh, he taught us a lot, his daily um, presence is still here. Bryson Cooper advised Paul and Lori Heist on a claim of flamethrowing Texan, who came to the Northwest as a sprinter, but immediately won the mile and a 16th Seattle Slough Stakes. In 2006, Tex was victorious in a famous mile stretch duel and became the track's all-time leading earner. Puppy Chile trying to nail flamethrowing Texan there stride to stride. Flamethrowing Texans equal to the task. Puppy Chile comes back. Puppy Chilo and flamethrowing Texan. Flamethrowing Texan the inside. Flamethrowing Texan unstoppable. When it came to the mile, Jim had a knack for knowing what uh, what it took to win the mile. And you know, he was always thinking ahead. He he would see something in the spring and say, you know what, we we can get this done with this horse. So yeah, he was. He was quite a guy. I really miss him. 